In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Exploded Assembly Workbench. The Exploded Assembly Workbench allows you to take an assembly and animate it coming together or apart. It's useful for identifying collisions between parts, but I've found another use for it as well. I have also used it for making plans with the Tech Draw Workbench, but that will be the subject of another video. If you'd like to support my work, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Your donation will help to improve the channel. Now let's get started. This assembly is a traditional cabinet drawer. The drawer is constructed from a front, a back, two sides, two drawer slips, and a bottom. I'm going to create an animation that shows the parts coming apart and then back together around the drawer bottom. Switch to the exploded assembly workbench. This will create a new group called exploded assembly in the model if it doesn't already exist. The workbench adds your animations to this group. I'm going to use the Create Simple Group tool to explode each part of the assembly. The tool moves the part along its z-axis, which is normal to the face that you select on the part. I'll move the draw front first by clicking on the front face of the draw front, then clicking Create Simple Group tool. The part moves a short distance along the face's z-axis. A simple group is created under the exploded assembly group. It is specific to the part being exploded and allows you to control how that part is animated. You'll also note that a trajectory line item has been created. This allows you to control how the trajectory line is displayed. Before I go any further, let's take a moment to explore the simple group object. Each simple group object contains a trajectory line allowing you to change how each trajectory line is displayed. The simple group also allows you to change how the animation is performed in the data tab. You can control the following parameters. Animation step time. This is the time each animation step takes to complete. By default this is zero and it seems to make each animation last one second when the default value is used. I don't normally use this value, but it's there if you need it. Animation steps. This is the number of steps that the animation takes to cover the distance. The total time taken is the number of steps multiplied by the step time. The default value is 20. Distance. This is how far the part is moved. The default value is 20, which is not very useful for most of my models. I usually increase this number significantly. Revolutions. The number of times the part revolves as it travels along its trajectory. I don't usually use this parameter. I'll make the draw front's distance 200, but leave the other parameters as their default values. Before I go any further, let's take a moment to explore the playback controls. There are five controls. Go to the start of the assembly, play backwards, pause playback, play forward, go to the end of the assembly. The names of the controls are self-explanatory. The animation will be played sequentially in whichever direction you choose. The parameters for each of the simple groups determine how fast each step is displayed. I'll add the right-hand side of the draw to the animation by clicking on its right-hand face and then clicking the Create Simple Group icon. I'll leave the parameters at their default values. Clicking on the Go to Start of Assembly icon causes the assembly to be reconstructed. Clicking the play forward icon disassembles the front and one side of the assembly. Note how the front moves faster and further than the side. This is being controlled by the parameters of each step. Now I'll animate the assembly of the rest of the drawer. The drawer slips will only be moved 100 millimeters rather than the 200 millimeters that everything else is being moved. We've created a demonstration that shows how to animate the disassembly and reassembly of a drawer with visible trajectory lines. Now let's have a look at how to hide or display the trajectory lines. You can turn off individual trajectory lines by selecting the trajectory object in the model, switching to the view plane, and then setting the visibility parameter to false. You can display or hide all the trajectory lines using the trajectory visibility tool. Clicking the tool icon toggles the visibility of all trajectory lines. This tool overrides the visibility setting on individual trajectory lines. 
The last thing we're going to look at today is how to play the animation up to a certain point. The Explode to Selection tool does this for us. Select the desired simple group in the model. Then click the Explode to Selection icon. You may not see anything happen if your assembly is partially or fully disassembled, so reassemble it and run the command again. The animation is played up to and including the simple group you selected. One thing that is immediately obvious is that the tool only seems to respect the setting of the distance parameter of the simple groups that it plays. Your animation will be played quickly, which may not be what you want. Check out my video on how to use an exploded assembly in a technical drawing. I've linked to it on the right. I have also linked a playlist of other free CAD tools you might be interested in to the right as well. If you'd like to support my work, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Your donation will help to improve the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.